Hello everybody and welcome back to the modded character showcase. Today we're going to be showing off the tainted version of the punished. Last time we checked this character out, a very interesting character that you could play one-handed, very movement based and based around the purgatory item, sort of picking up them ghost cracks and killing enemies that way. I have no idea what's involved with this guy, it just haunted by memories, it doesn't really say much to me. So let's just jump in and see. I don't know if we're still going to be playing with purgatory here or what. But, oh, whoa, okay, that's really cool. I'm not shooting right now. This is based on movement. We've got like a monstrous lung haunted shot based on movement. We've also got flashback here, which changes this room. It also gave us damage. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So that's going to be like a little damage up there. That seems interesting. Ooh, camo undies is great for us here. In fact... How does camo undies even work for us here? Camo undies is re- oh, Camo undies is pretty busted. Because <laughs> we never technically shoot. We never technically shoot. We found a busted synergy. The only time I actually shoot is when I tap. There you go, look. I tapped. So we can use this again here. And it like sets us back to home. Ooh. Okay, this is interesting. We found a really busted synergy here. Oh, wait, what? There's red doors here. What are they for? Um, I can't do anything with these. What are they there for? Maybe that's something to do with flashback? Maybe if we flashback, it opens up red doors? I don't know, though. That seems really, really strong. But re if, that's, if that's the case, that's really cool, though. Being able to, like, access red rooms and doors. I'm really, really happy we got camo undies here. This seems... Really, really intriguing. <laughs> also, I like the way that this, these shots like kind of act like purgatory, where they do the little ghost explosion. That's really cool. And also, it's just nice to have to speed up all the time. Okay, this this guy, as well as I say, can still hit me perfectly fine. For one, he's eternal, so he has some extra je ne sais quoi. Let's flash back here. So, no, that didn't open that red door. Maybe I just wasn't stood close enough to it. I don't know. Maybe we'll get another charge for it in this room. I'll see. We did. Okay, let's, uh... Oh, no, that did open it. That did open it. Okay. Okay. So, this is really intriguing. We can open up red rooms. And then... Ooh, we can charge it again. And open up another red room. That's a cursed red room, though. God damn it. Ugh, it's so hard to actually hit with this dude. We open up an item room here as well. While firing charge up a stream, that, that doesn't actually do anything for us. Because we don't charge that up unless we... I mean, we can charge it up if we do this. But I don't think we're going to want to do that much. This is cool. This character seems really interesting. This might well be one that I can see myself adding to the regular series. I don't know what you guys think, but I like this guy a lot. He's, he seems fun. Let's see how he does against bosses here. Another Eternal. Now, I don't know. Can this guy see me right now? I don't think he can. It doesn't look, it doesn't look like the boss himself is confused. So, but this is... I don't know. He's not firing. Okay, no, he is firing at us. That's nice. Mr. Dolly is really good for HP. But also fire rate. I still don't know exactly how fire rate works, but let's go regular path. This seems really interesting. Now, the question is, in the last character, you couldn't you couldn't carry um Holy Water's not great for us because we do have to fire to uh to send it. Oh wait, no, no, it fires when we when we walk. Okay. We don't want Scapula, that's fine. Um the other character, the other version, the non tainted you can't carry your charge through to other rooms. I don't know if that's the case for this guy as well, so we should try that out. Because being able to open up any red room you want seems a little strong. Like, I, I have a full charge here, right? Let's save it. Come on, you. Go down. There you go. Let's save it, and then we'll come in here. No, it does decharge us. It does decharge our active. Uh, why not? Stink bug. 
I'm, I'm glad the holy water still works here. I really thought it wouldn't. This is so cool. Definitely an added benefit to have, uh, <laughs> have the confusion in all the enemies. I like that a lot. And as well, like, I can burst down a bit of damage, so I can do, like, this, this. Is he the Eternal version? I can't tell. Flashback here. Let's pop it. Yes, he is the Eternal version. Let's, let's not mess around right now. Okay, we got him. I wonder if we can get into the Ultra Secret Room this way. I haven't really even considered that. Gimme. Need another Soul Heart there. Yeah, I can, like, burst down with extra damage. Like, a massive burst of, like, one second of extra damage. Get you. Oh, God. He hit me. He's not going down. He's so strong. I think we just genu generally don't have a lot of damage here. He hit me again. Oh, I got hit so much there. Okay, some of these enemies don't even fire at us, which is rather nice. Okay. We got another flashback here. This is crazy. You can just keep going and going and going. I wonder if we can get to, uh, get to the error room. Got ourselves into a bedroom here. This is end of the line for us, though. That's really cool, though. I, I, I just, I love red rooms. I think everyone does. So, like, having extra ability to get to them is, is pretty cool. Oh, damn, there's an enemy in here. I didn't realize. That's actually firing at me. What? Does he see me? There you go. Oh, that room was pretty saucy. Also... See if we can get some players out of this guy. Come on. There you go. Oh, ho, ho, great. They look awesome. That's a really cool looking tier effect there. Oh, I'm loving this. Absolutely loving this guy. Come on, holy water. Fly the right way for me. Stay true. Do that for the damage. Ow, I, th I thought holy water would save me there. It did not. Oh my god, this is a re- This is a really hard setup for this guy. Because I'm trying to do the movement to, to hit the enemies and I, I, I'm slipping and sliding everywhere. So it's really hard to actually place myself where I want to be. We're getting Eternal Hearts out the wazoo though. Can I- I can use this again for even more damage, nice. Kind of like Book of Belial where it just gives you a bit less. Booster pack here. Uh, magician, magician, uh, hermit, six glitch pickups. Justice. I'm just going to take what I get here. Justice. Ace of clubs, why not? I'll check this out. Spawns one to three lurkers on use. Picking up a red heart will, while this item is uncharged, will charge it. It's kind of interesting. I think I'm just going to take Rotten Baby for now. Although, no. Wait, does Rotten Baby work? Rotten Baby might not work. I might have just wasted some health there. We'll see, we'll see. I, I took it because we got Stink Bug. But yeah, he might not even work. Let's just, let's just see. Oh, no, he does work. He does work. Nice. Okay, stink book hit with that guy is kind of nice. The sun card here is actually just worth popping right now. Probably should have popped it in, enemy, in a room with enemies to be fair, but oh well. And having blue flies just a nice bit of extra damage for us. That's really nice. Wait, does, does stink book affect spiders as well? Because if it does, that's incredible for us. Blue spiders and flies. Yeah, that's 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 gonna be incredible. We have a very good setup right now. Um, it's kind of weird that it gives you the option to open up red rooms in rooms like that when 
There's no feasible way for you to do that, but I kind of get it. I wonder if there's any other ways to charge flashback. Nice. Yeah, this is going to be crazy good. I think we've I think we set up a very good run here. Although, it seems that maybe... Let me, let me just check this. Okay, it doesn't matter. I can't do it on this room. It seems that maybe the blue flies and spiders aren't charging flashback. I don't know if that's the case. Oh, we found our ultra. We found our ultra. I was wondering if we could find it. We can, we can. More of the void. Now, does that actually work? It does. Awesome. It's, it's just the, um, the camo undies that doesn't work correctly. Everything else works fine. <laughs> <laughs> I just managed to get the one really broken item. Yeah, the spiders don't charge us at all, which is a real shame. Because it means we're probably going to get less flashbacks now. Like, we are stronger overall, but our flashbacks are going to be much less frequent, sadly. Get back here, you. We have a very hard time getting these hearts right now. I know I'm not bothering with that. <laughs> it's, it's, it's already annoyed me. Yes, yeah, so we have to be quite quick to the sticks to uh to get our thingy going. Because otherwise we don't get the flashback, which is a little bit of a shame. I also do understand why it's set up that way. There you go. We got a flashback there. I want as many red rooms as possible. There's another one. As long as I think it's as long as they're combat red rooms, there's a good chance we can get another flashback. Not a guarantee, of course, but yeah. The spiders just kind of ruin it sometimes. <laughs> At least they're doing a lot of damage for us, though. Like, I did, like, nothing there for my flashback. Okay, this guy's going down quick. Beautiful. Extra range isn't really super useful to us, but I'll take it. Down we go. This is a super interesting character. I'm going to keep saying it, but I'm intrigued. We're on a very good run with him, to be fair, but... This is a room where getting flashback doesn't actually matter too much. Okay, there you go. Got it on there. Got it again. This guy's eternal. Maybe we can get it on him. Nah, sadly not. Ooh, was that a tinted rock there? I think it was. Maybe I need to use more of the void more often. Let's let's charge up more of the void. And then try and utilize that. Nah, that didn't, that didn't give us any any sort of uh, charge, really. Okay, keep, keep keep pushing forward nonetheless. Oh, look at that! I'm so close to my my buddy charge. So close to it. But alas. I was not so lucky. A lucky penny, though. That makes me a bit lucky. No charges in there for us. Yeah, look at that. That, that should have given us so much charges, and it just... Maybe I have to hit with the, uh, with the attack for it to count. One black heart can spawn friendly enemies when taking damage, and weak Gehenna bosses. Interesting. I like the black heart mainly, but I'll take the rest. So we get it this room on a room where it's useless. <laughs> I really like the decor change when you do it. Like making it actually look like the forgotten memory sort of thing. Very cool. Damn it. I'm struggling to get it. There you go. I got it. Another look penny, nice.
Yeah, it seems like it has to be with this attack to count. Which I think means if, as long as we attack enemies at long range, there's a higher chance of us getting our forgotten memory. It's just if the spiders can get to them easily, they're going to beeline and rush to it. But I will not judge my spidery friends. I will not judge. Okay, forgotten memory just to get that damage bonus going. Let's try and get more of the void going and then use that. There you go. More of the void does a whole lot of damage. This is insane. Oh, why didn't I take Purgatory? That's such a good item for this character. Damn it. <laughs> I, I just didn't even consider it. Yeah, the, uh, Rotten Baby's going to start firing locusts now, I think. Yeah, he is. He start, he's firing locusts now, look. And on kill, we're going to get a chance to get locusts as well. This has become a very good run. Almost got it again. It doesn't matter, it's not actually useful in this room. This is a room we want it in. And we got it. Free entry into the shop. Now, I don't actually know if any of these will do anything for flashback, but I'm hopeful. Being able to charge it up quicker seems like really good if that's if we can actually do that. Damn, I'm having such a hard time actually getting it charged though. I'm so annoyed that I missed out on Purgatory. That's a great item for this character. Just me being a goober. Oh, hello. That's rather nice. I'm getting hit a lot, but... Path of the course. Oh, we've already got that. We don't need, uh... We don't need an item that we technically already have. Beautiful. Go find our item room real quick. Okay, this should get us one. Yeah, there you go. This guy is uh, going wild right now. Hey, ultra secret room again. At the end of the day, that's the main thing we care about, getting the ultra secret room going. Bloody Lust. Two of hearts as well. Bloody Lust is pretty good. Oh, bad damage to take there. Okay, we got a little buddy now as well. Nice. Want more item rooms? Give me more, like, angel deals or item rooms from our red rooms. That's the real stuff we want. Eternal guy again here. You just got to hit with like a majority of the shots and it works, but getting that lined up is so difficult. Still got to find our item room here. I have lost a considerable amount of health here. Then again, I did take a, a pretty hefty devil deal. Maybe I'll play this guy. This won't kill him, right? No, good. Pay out with an item, please. The card. Oh, that is good, though. I'll take that, to be honest. I'm pretty happy about that. Damn you. I mean, that's still pretty good. That's still, like, on level with kind of what I was hoping for from you, sir. So. Okay, let's move on through. We do have a two of hearts here for next floor as well. In fact, this is a good two of hearts room. It didn't work. Okay, interesting. I'm not sure why. It didn't work. Born two burn hearts. Nice. Still haven't found our item room, surprisingly. 
bunch of these guys. God, I, I really like this idea of, like, having to use movement as your way of attacking. Tier multiplier and damage up. That seems incredibly good. Yeah, having to use, um... Having to use movement to fire. Like, being able to play one-handed. It's a really cool idea. Like, for one, it's just, like, interesting gameplay-wise. But something that they mentioned on the mod page that I hadn't considered is it's actually a character that works really well for disabled gamers, like people that, that can only use one hand to play. Like, I never thought of that, because Isaac is literally impossible to play with one hand from what I know of. So it kind of adds that accessibility in as well, which is really, really cool of the developer to even, like, consider. Gotcha. Honestly, speed is pretty good here. I like having speed. Being able to move around the stage a little quicker. Swoop around enemies faster is kind of nice. Those, those guys died. We have an eternal skull there. We did, didn't we? So many locusts on our side right now as well. I'm just trying to fire off as many of these as I can. There you go. Flashback there. It's kind of confusing because there's a, a door mimic there as well. Yeah, that leads into the door mimic room. Suck it all up now, y'all. Oh, I can't suck up the cell heart. The mulligan! Oh my lord. We are very fly heavy. We do have another flashback going on here. I'll take it. Is that a curse room flashback? No, it's not, no. Okay. Yeah, the mulligan, yet another fly spider based thing. Pretty good stuff. Nice. Gave us the full card as well. I don't know what boss I'm going to go do with this guy, to be honest. I haven't really decided. Got a Revenant there as well on our side. Mother's Spine's pretty good here. That's going to be doing some damage for us, too. He is going off. We did get a charge here. Anywhere to use it? Yes, we do. Hey, there's our Ultra Secret Room. Marked, you say? I have to pick it up and try it. It seems interesting. Okay, it's really good. It's really weird, but it's really good. It's, it's very strange, I'll say that. Because I don't... I still aim it with movement, but I fire a lot faster now, which will probably mean more of these runes in general. Oh my god, this is very difficult to control. But I'm firing so rapid now. Yeah, I'm getting I'm getting the the forgotten flashbacks so much more often now. Okay, this is pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Also, having abyss here is kind of nice too. I like Abyss. Oh, that guy's reflecting shots. I was wondering what the hell was happening then. I'll take an Emperor card. Oh my god, this is crazy. What are you doing in here? Steam sale, that's what you're doing. Sadly, didn't quite give us those charges, though. It's a little upsetting. There's a few red rooms in here I'd like to take advantage of. Look at this, it's just nuts. It's just nuts. I think we just take the soul heart here. In fact, let's um, pick up Sharp Plug and Abyss it. Why not? Now we have a little uh, fly with us, a little locust doing some help. My god. Marked is a very good item to have with this guy. It's proving to be. It just spams constantly. 
was not expecting it to work that way, but I'm very glad it does. There you go. Unfortunately, no rooms we can access in this one. Oh my god, what is going on here? <laughs> it's so hard to actually aim, though. Like, marked via movement is weird, man. It's it's kind of working, though. Like, I am getting use out of it. Okay, we got another flashback here. Do we have any way we can use it in this room? Ah, no, not really. That's crazy. That's crazy to me. Also, we are just amassing a ridiculous amount of spiders. I've tried to get the marked in the middle. It's just so difficult to do. <laughs> I've got to hold it on this door and hope for the best. It did work out. I can't stop shooting either. Damn it. I'm just trying to pl place a bomb by this rock. I can't do it. It can't be done. It cannot be done. Right. Let's go. <laughs> we got a mortal heart, though. That's nice. That helps. Oh, God. I forgot about that. God damn. I was like, where are all these fires coming from? But I have a little dude with me, look. Um, do you know, Black Powder could actually be pretty good with this guy. We're doing a lot of movement. So having having a way to utilize that could be interesting. I basically don't get to aim anymore. Like... I'm having such a hard time getting the mark where I actually want it that it's just kind of like, just let the game do what it wants. I'm trying to aim it. It's so very difficult to aim it. Like, there you go. Dude, this guy has to stop planting fires everywhere. It's confusing the hell out of me. And why is my mark down there? I want it up. Oh, oh. My god. But every time I move to move somewhere, it moves my mark. It's like difficult to, to, to manage. We do have a red room there, good. <laughs> this is so cool though. This is constant barrage, it's lovely. Oh my god, everything explodes into spiders and flies. That's kind of what's keeping us going here. I think if I didn't have these spiders and flies with marked, I'd be having a just horrible time. <laughs> I think I'd have such a hard time actually hitting what I want to hit. What's what's the point in this door? You kind of got like stand against walls to get the marked where you want it. Kind of works, but it's it's a little dangerous. Yeah, what the hell? What's with this door? Can I, what happens if I go through this? <laughs> okay, that's useful. I don't know who came up with that genius design, but don't think that'll quite work in your favor there. Okay. Still no use, use of our flashback here. Okay, we've got we've definitely got use of it here. Is there a single place we can actually use it in, though? Oh, there isn't! Really? This whole room, nowhere we can use it in. Lost my mortal heart there. Alright, it's boss time. I'm trying my very hardest to get this 
to where I want to be firing here, but it's very difficult. And I'm running out of spiders and flies as well. More of the void is kind of my saving grace as well. Oh, by the way, because I've marked, I'm constantly using more of the void. I, I didn't really mention that, but that is a pretty good part of this. Polaroid, I don't know if we can do hush. I honestly don't. I feel like maybe... I feel like we should try it. I'm going to try it. It feels like a bad idea, but I'm going to try it anyways. Torn photos, nice. Blood explosion's good here. Grants the effect of a random item. The random item changes each time you take damage. Ooh. False PhD. Interesting. I like the idea of that. We upgraded this fella. Okay. It's just, it's getting the actual, he it had, it had to be eternal, didn't he? He had to be eternal. I can't get the bloody mark to where I want it. I want to This is so difficult. I cannot get the mark where I want it at all. Oh, I, it crashed. No, one second. Okay, I tried a few times, and unfortunately, the eternal version of Hush seems to be some sort of bug or something. So, I've come back to the cathedral, and we're just going to play on normally. Yes, give me a door. And another door. And another door. And another door. I got all three of them in this room. Nice. We got an, an extra shot. Luda. Oh my Luda. How the hell would that work? I feel like I have to find out. But it feels like a bad idea. Feels like a just terrible, terrible idea, but... Okay, you need to go down quickly, sir. Having a very hard time getting out of the way of this guy. I'm just opening up so many red rooms here, it's great. Another one. Damn it. Oh wait, no, I got it, I got it. I thought I'd missed it that time. Ah, oh, no combat room. Upsetting. This one works. Nah, this, this room's over, isn't it? This room, our time is up, I think. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, oh. We got it. We got it. There you go. Right, so for one... Oh, let me plant a bomb, please, game. Come on, my ghosty fellas. So... What the hell happens when we pick up Ludo? I've got to find out. Okay. Ludo quite literally breaks the character, so... Just gonna remove that because it's not as fun. Take Ghost Baby because I didn't mean to. I meant to pick up Squeezy, but oh well. Yeah, gotta stick with this this thing because this, this setup's more fun. We grab Squeezy as well. Gives us even more fire rate and that HP that we needed. We did get a library up here that we never looked at. The world's kind of good here. Let's go for that. And I could just abyss both of these, and I think I will. 
think that's the proper action for us there. Look at how many red rooms we created there. That's nutty. I'm just this walking mess. Walking mass of shots. Bow down to me. Hey, we got another charge there, but unfortunately not a good one for it. Not a good room. I love the fact that we're auto-charging um, more of the void as well. That's really cool. There's a baby somewhere. There you go. Got you. Some rooms are just like breeze by and we get a bunch of charges. Other rooms, it's like, no charges for you. No flashbacks. This one, we got one. But is it a useful one? Yes, it is. Uh, what the hell? It didn't open that room. What the heck? I don't know what I did there to make that not work, but oopsie, I guess. <laughs> My bad. Right. Isaac. There we go. That's what I wanted. Big old circle. Is he eternal? I think he's eternal, isn't he? We're getting a lot of eternal bosses on this guy right now. Oh my god, we're getting so much damage. I didn't realize it stacked so high. It is stacking very high. This is this is sort of to alleviate the boss pain on the final bosses, I think. Another eternal heart. Did I pick it up? No, I didn't. Nice. Yeah, it's to alleviate that pain. We literally doubled our damage in that boss fight. That's insane. That is insane. Conjoined. Ooh, nice. I'll take that. I think we'll uh, eat both of those guys up. Considering it's bosses that we're fighting here, people get quite a lot here. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so astral projection is going to be a bit nutty for us too. Nightshade. Makes so many eternal hearts. Damn it, I keep using it on the wrong walls. That's my own stupidity, but there you go. Just make sure we open all the doors plausible. There you go. And then decimate him. Ah, oh my God, that guy's crazy. Is he dead? He looks dead. Yeah, room's over. Oh, ho, ho. okay. This could this could crash our game. So I'm just gonna quickly do an exit and continue before I pick this up. Just to save our progress where we are. Uh, but this this could crash our game. It hasn't, but it has created quite the scenario. We don't have to aim as much anymore, I'll definitely tell you that. We're getting hit a lot though. Still getting hit quite a lot. <laughs> this is nuts. They're just flying everywhere. It's beautiful, actually. That's a lot of soul hearts. Thank you. Back up to full health. You're willing to stop firing, my dude. I know that it's very hard for you to do so, but it would help a lot. And another, a mortal heart, yes.
Everything's dying very quickly. I'm blowing up. Planetarium. How does Neptunus even work for us here? It probably doesn't, right? I have no idea if it's working or not. I cannot tell. Well, here is where we're meant to be. God damn. What is going on right now? I can't even figure it out myself. Let's do a flashback in here, because why not? Blue baby, here we come, I guess. <laughs> Camo Undies was the MVP this run. It really was. Didn't stop me getting hit, but it helped. He's eternal again. Oh god. We've already doubled our damage. And it's just gonna keep going. I'm trying to not get hit here, but it's very, very difficult. Up to 23 damage now. 24. <laughs> God damn. Well, that was a wild, wild ride. I hope you guys enjoyed this look into the tainted version of this character. Absolutely insane synergies. Really, really fun player style and definitely a top tier character. Please do check them out. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.